Good morning, everyone. Um, we don't have an official choir here at Sacred Heart, so I just uh, ask you all to join us in singing. It's hard for people to see the numbers right now, so I'll make sure I announce everything so you can look it up. And you should have a hymn book or uh, the maroon little plastic with the, all our songs are in the music issue, which is the thicker part of the two books. And uh, so we'll open with 394, which is Here I Am, Lord. And at, uh, for the psalm today, we're going to do the 23rd psalm. And the music for that is 8.30 in the music show. <laughs> Our auditory gift is Blessed and Beloved, number 742. Our communion hymn is One Bread, One Body. That is 3.37. We sing a song of farewell. That will be 8.32. And we'll close with Lead Me, Lord. And that should be 739. But I will announce it again. But uh, join us in the songs today. So if you open to number 394, that will be our opening again. Here I am, Lord. <laughs> Good morning, Chairman Long. Please stand and turn towards the coffin. Let's make them together to celebrate the life journey of Janet Crab. Let's begin this holy Eucharist. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and love of God. And the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the harvest of baptism, Janet Craft died with Christ and rose with him to new life. May she now share with him eternal glory. Now we place the fall in the remembrance of her baptism. Please pass the crucifix for the remembrance of our resurrection. Please join us and his hymn. Number three, nine, four, here I am, Lord. Thank <laughs> you. 
Spring. Almighty God and Father, it is our solemn faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Granted to this mystery, your servant, Janet Craft, who has gone her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the first reading. book of the prophet Isaiah. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will provide for all peoples. On this mountain, he will destroy the veil that veils all people, the web that is woven over all nations. He will destroy death forever. The Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people he will remove from the whole earth. For the Lord has spoken. On that day it will be said, Behold, our God, with whom we will to save us, this is the Lord to whom we look. Let us rejoice and be glad that he has saved us. Our responsorial psalm is number 830, The Lord is My Shepherd.
Yeah. 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 A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw in heaven and in the earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city in New Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, God's dwelling is with the human race. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will always be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there shall be no more death or mourning, wailing or pain, for the old order has passed away. The one who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give a gift from the spring of life giving water. The victor will inherit these gifts, and I shall be his God, and he will be my son. The word of the Lord. God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called 
children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of my righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. Yeah. Once again, I share my heartfelt sympathy to the family members and the friends, those who gather here, because as I said yesterday, life is not an end with the death. It begins again. You know, he has um, Janet started our journey to the kingdom of God. Only thing we have to do today is we need to assist her with our prayers. May the holy angels and the holy angels and the saints join with her and allow help her to enter into the kingdom of God because the gatekeeper is waiting there, the Christ himself. We believe, we hope already she prepared herself to enter into the kingdom of God. Let's hope she is going to be in the right place where the place is already prepared for her. So dear brothers and sisters, when we look into the all three readings today, in the first reading we see that, you know, uh, very often Jesus in his ministry he always, he went up the side of the mountain and he preached, he teach his disciples about death and life. That's what we read in the first reading from Isaiah. In Isaiah 25, 6 to 8, it is here on this mountain uh, which we have gathered here at the sanctuary of the Lord, that the Lord of hosts will provide for all people. On this mountain, he will destroy the way that weighs all people, the weep that is on over all nations, he will destroy death forever. That is our belief. That is what we, gather, we all gather here to pray for her. This is a mountain of the Lord. This is the altar. You know, the mountain of the, the mountain of the Lord. We gather to pray, to surrender ourselves, and also pray for Janet, Janet Pratt for her final journey. And also, we see that like so many of his followers before uh, Christ's disciples, we have gathered here on this mountain with confused emotions and mixed feelings. There is something about Jesus that continuously draws us towards him. There is something different about him, about the words he speaks. He teaches with authority and by loving example. And so we know his word to be true. We have seen his power and we have experienced his love, his mercy, his compassion. God always shows his mercy and compassion to his children. We are the, his children. And also, he wants us to be with him in the kingdom of God one day. We will see him face to face. And also, we see that in Matthew, in the gospel today, Jesus sets before us the Beatitudes, and also he explains, and also he is the one who teaches. It was Jesus who became the poor for, poor for us. It was Jesus who mourned for Jerusalem. It was Jesus who showed us the beauty of being me. It was Jesus who spent countless days fasting for us, especially during the season of Lent. It was Jesus who bought the infinite riches of the mercy. 
and love of the Father for us through his death on the cross. He calls us to follow him in all things, and having done so, we will be called children of God. So dear brothers and sisters, as the children of God, he is always loving us. Those who mourn, they will be comforted. These are God's words, you know, will be comforted today because we know that it is a sad moment where we come together to share our sorrow and our pain and uh, our pain and the loss of Janet Crawford. But in the pain also, there is a lot of joy and a lot of, uh, you know, peace that God brings us. You know, that means he brought us a love. We share the love of Christ, right? You know, as the siblings, as the friends all gathered here. Why? We wanted to support one another, support each other, right? And also, we love each other. That's the same love God wants us to share one another. That's why God gave the greatest commandment, right? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. What is that great more, more great than that, right? You know, loving one another. And also sharing our peace and sharing the, our forgiveness that brings us, you know, kind of peace to our minds, especially on days like this. And also, we see that as we move the death of Janet Crawford, uh, 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 Janet Craft, let us take consolation in the words of the prophet Isaiah, in chapter 25, verse 9, on this mountain, the Lord will do wipe away the tears from all faces. The reproach of his people, he will remember them on this mountain. That means the mountain of the Holy Eucharist that we are going to celebrate. We are, we are celebrating. In this new Holy Eucharist, Jesus is speaking to us. He is watching us. He is looking at each and every one of us. Right? And also, he has given the law always a peace to us. That's what I preached yesterday night, you know, and uh, from, from John, we see that uh, John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God and believe also in me. There are many dwelling places already prepared in the kingdom of God. So all those places are prepared, well, as I said, one for Jared, one for me, one for each and every one of us. Only thing, to receive that condo, as I said yesterday, you know? If you want to receive that condo, you need to prepare yourself. This is the place of preparation. This is the place we need to love one another. This is the place we can share the joy of Christ. This is the place where we have to share the kindness of love. This is the place where we need to share the, um, uh, the gift of the uh, grace of God, right? He's so gracious, so loving, right? And he was so compassionate. Whenever he saw the people in sorrow or in struggling, in pain, his heart was moved with pity, right? He was so compassionate. He consoled them. He heals them, right? A lot of healing he did. In the same way, Jesus is he's here, right here. At present, he's watching every one of us, and especially the family members. He ready to give the healing to you. Yes, you know, plus the mother. You know, I know, I know how painful it is when something happens to the mother, you know, it's so painful. And but she is at peace now. Right? She's at peace, you know, she lived her life, and she underwent all the struggles, kind of battle here on here. She prepared herself for 86 years. You know, 86 years she prepared here on here, so she will have a wonderful place already prepared for her. Let's have the faith and confidence that she's at peace now. Let's continue to pray, and let's take or present her to the Lord today as we ask him to open wide the gates of paradise to his servant. In the Lord has grant to unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Let us stand for the prayers of the faithful. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and he sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in Lord Jesus. We join our prayers to his. In baptism, Janet received the light of Christ, scattered the darkness now, and lead, lead her over the waters of death. We pray to the Lord. Our sister Janet was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the hall of the heavenly banquet. We pray to the Lord. Many friends and members of our family have gone before us and away the kingdom. Grant them an everlasting home with your son. We pray to the Lord. Those who trusted in the Lord now sleep in in the Lord, give refreshment, rest, and peace to all those who have faith is known to you alone. We pray to the Lord. The family and friends of Janet seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that comes from grief. We pray to the Lord. Spring special way for our special needs. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives are purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please be seated for the preparation of the gifts. Our offertory hymn is number 742, Blessed and Beloved. 742. <laughs> Yeah. 
Frank, brethren, that may sacrifice yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice to the offering, for the praise and glory of his name, Father, and the good of his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant, Jared, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who will live and reign forever and ever. The Lord may it was to you. Lift up your hearts. We give thanks to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just of and of our salvation. Always and every God should give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for as one alone he accepted death so that we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so, in company with the prayers of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. Second Eucharistic prayer. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. 
Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they did fall, so that they may be compressed, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring us to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and John Thomas Fulda, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Janet Pratt, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in your death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be the coerce to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and Command. And for the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be the name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Yes. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Then, my Lord, we pray from every evil, 
graciously grant me, said our Lady, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all weakness. As we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power, and glory of yours, come on forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be The name of God. We have the most extreme the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, and not worthy that you should enter under my room, but worthy say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <laughs> Let the body of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Those who receive the communion can receive the communion on on your palm, and also those who want to receive blessing, you can come cross in your hands. A communion hymn is one bread, one body, number 337. One bread, one body. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> 
Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquered all things, destroys even death itself. Let us sing the song of farewell. You'll find it in the music issue 832. 832. To you, O Lord, 
We commend the soul of Jared, your servant. In the sight of this world, she is now dead. In your sight, may she live forever. Forgive all our sins she committed through human weaknesses. And in your goodness, grant her everlasting peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. In peace, let us take our sister to her place of rest. We'll close with Lead Me, Lord, number 739 in the music issue. Thank you. 